week on Scam School. It's the best tricks from half a decade and almost 300 episodes. Also, let me out. I'm claustrophobic. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy. OMG, it is a brand new network and a brand new group of people to introduce to Scam School. That's right, Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and we've got a lot of new people just coming in. After five years and nearly 300 episodes, it is time for you to learn how to get free drinks, introduce yourself to the cutest girls at the bar, get the phone number, get whatever you want, and it starts right now with a recap of some of the best scam school effects we've ever taught. Let's go find out. What's up, dude? I cannot freaking believe it. It has been over half a decade, five years five ago, years. creeping up on 300 episodes of scam school, so I figured it's finally time for us to have midterms. This All is a right. test. Whoa, whoa, this whoa. Is, wait, yes. Whoa. I'm sorry, bro. Wait, we're gonna be in school for 10 years? <laughs> yes, get I, ready. I have been drunk for tests before. <laughs> That's but. fine. So much better. And actually, I should point out that we're joined by Johnny Zavon, who was there at the inception of Scam School. Episode one. The original first consultant right there. OC, mother. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and Jason Murphy I've been working with for coming up on 10 years now. So here's the thing. We're gonna burn through okay. uh, seven or eight of my all-time favorite tricks. All right. Okay? Got a lot of people who haven't seen the old episodes. We want to bring them up to speed. We want to refresh and make sure people can remember who are just, you know, getting into the series now. So they know how awesome it is. Sure. Let's say that's the reason. So here's the important thing. We always teach on Scam School that there are three different classes of effects. You yep. have openers, tweeners, and closers. Yep. Get people's attention. Yep. Do something with it. Yep. Close the deal. That's right. Now yep. here's the thing. Openers have to be dead simple. They have to be something that works anytime, anywhere. Has to be something visual that makes people say, do that again. Show, you know, show that what to my that? friend. Exactly. Yep. So, uh, the first episode we ever did of Scam School, still my favorite, the human chimney. Here, let's bust yep. this thing out. Oh, fire. <laughs> what could go wrong? Let's just do this. I'm trapped in the corner. All right. There we go. That was amazing. Okay, thank you. Try this. Yes, this. you're on fire. Breathe this. Breathe this. All right, this is a Martin Gardner principle yep. written up in Table Magic like a half century ago. But essentially, it boils down to when you strike that match, you have that initial sulfur flash. Yep. Very little smoke during that. Invisible. There we go. When it's burning, no smoke. When it goes out, that's when you get the smoke, right? Oh. You strike it towards your face. You inhale whatever that sulfur poison is. Pretty sure that this kills you. Heat juice. There you go. You strike towards your face. Inhale. It will tickle. That's a good nope. way to put it. Let's say, let's say tickle. <laughs> Got a good one. And it's amazing because there's more smoke manufactured in your lungs than comes out of the entire right. match. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, you're gonna do it. So let's let's just get that started right now. What do I need? Three? Uh, I, three? Well, I was make sure. Yeah, you get away with one, and it's gonna okay. burn. It's gonna burn. Yeah, it's, it oh, kicks. All right. It kicks. Closer. Closer. So, yeah, yeah, lean yeah, towards I, you. Towards try, you. Try, Stop try. pressuring me! <laughs> Sh Sh towards your face. There okay. you go. It's like, towards your face. Towards there you go. Yep, yep, like yep, that. Yep, yep. Yep. Breathe Just in inhale. and inhale. Once it yeah, stops yeah. burning, stop inhaling. Okay. If it's not, you only want the burn. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Slow. Super slow. Yeah! <laughs> First thing that's gonna happen when you do that is they're immediately gonna ask you to do it again. Never repeat a trick. Again. No, yeah. that's, stop, that's you. Yeah. Uh, once is a trick, twice is a lesson. So instead, you do some verbal jujitsu and you say, uh, you answer a question with a question. It's like, oh, did you like that? And of course they'll say yes, they just yeah. asked you to do it again. Would you like to see another? And they're like, yes. Yeah, and so what I'll, I'll usually follow it up with uh, the human jack-o-lantern. Looks like this. I love that. I love that. <laughs> that's no good. So I'm far out there. Your water. <laughs> you just, wait, what? <laughs> okay. What? Couple of things to remember. Fire in his head. Yeah. <laughs> First fire of all, burn, fire you, sh you should know that the matches really do burn at like 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. All hydrocarbons, whether it's gasoline or wood, burn at roughly the same temperature. That's hot. If you were to just bite down on there, it would cook the roof of your mouth. But instead, and what you how? do is you inhale slowly. So you want to get enough flame on there. You want to inhale slowly enough that you draw all the heat into your lungs, but not so fast that you actually blow it out. So you want to find that middle ground, practice in front of a mirror with this. Okay. 
And you won't burn yourself if you do it right. Slow inhale. Slow inhale. Yep. So the fire but not goes, a lot. So the fire goes into your body. Just well, sound theory. Just not a, in the roof of your mouth, not in your lungs. I'm starting to think that maybe Scam School is not the most liability aware program <laughs> on planet Earth. <laughs> maybe just, a if little. you decide, if you want to show off, you can let it decide to burn just a little bit. Yeah! You got it! Boom! Thank you, thank They're you. They're applauding in the back. That's I'm you. <laughs> You know, with Father's Day right around the corner, I can't help but think that it's time for you to thank your daddy. Not your biological daddy. I'm talking about your GoDaddy. Your GoDaddy is the place for cheap domains. They're one of the earliest sponsors of Scam School. They're the home of 99.99% uptime, 24 seven support with real life human beings, and most importantly, super cheap domains. Talking about domains so cheap that you can buy them just to piss off your friends, like loservirgin.com and use it to point to their personal website. Be all like, ha ha, I went to loservirgin.com and that's you and then your friend punches you and then you just blame me don't blame me and don't blame GoDaddy because all they did was give you excellent support and completely cheap domains especially if you use promo code scam8 at checkout that's gonna get you 10% off your order and I'm pretty sure I'm no math wizard but like 10% off of dirt cheap equals holy crap cheap so get down to holy crap cheap level and go with GoDaddy Openers, yeah. you got their attention. You've got them asking you to do tricks. Actively engaged. Now you move on to tweeners. Now tweeners are different because they require something of them. For example, it could be like, you know, they have to remember what a playing card is. They have to actually hold an object themselves. Openers, part of it. Exactly. You yep. you get them in it and you get them to own part of the of the action here. That's when you'll do something like maybe just ask for a cork behind the bar okay. and set up a challenge of from a height of at least one cork, okay. drop this and have it land on the thin edge. This is the kind of thing that they'll stay super busy with. Here, give it a few right, tries. So See now if you can you're do setting it. up a puzzle that, that they're like, oh, this is easy. Sure. But there's no way. Now, what I usually do is I start off with giving two people these corks, and I have them race. I say, whoever does it first will get a free beer. And of course, no matter how many times you do it, it's Nobody not going to land. The, uh, the trick is, if you go from one length up, now it's different, on synthetic corks, you want to go one and a half lengths. Okay. On natural corks, you want to go one cork length up. Make sure it's sideways from that height, and when you drop it... <laughs> this is great, though. You're interested enough that you want more, which is why you could get away with perfect tweeners like this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going right. to set up a so little if football. They're in, if they're in this far, they're in for the whole ride. Usually. At this point, you just want to keep hitting them with material. This is the karate chop match. I'm gonna set this up like this. If with your other hand, you could karate chop down and break that top match in just one haya, free beers for the rest of the night. Uh, okay. Question is, can he do it? All right, now we're in the home stretch here. We go into closers. Closers are the kind of thing where it's like you got them on the hook, you have them interested, hopefully they enjoy the tricks you do, you're doing. This is the moment that you graciously suggest that you would like a free beer for your services. So here's the setup. You got a diamond pattern here. The rules are you can move one quarter at a time and every time you let go of a quarter, it has to be touching two other quarters. So that's a legal move. This is a legal move. This is a legal move but something like that would be an illegal move. Right. With that yep. And no in pushing mind. other coins oh, with, yeah, with good the point. coin. Good point. Oh, There's sure. none, of, everything's, none of that. Yeah, everything's in two dimensions as well. With that in mind, you gotta start in the diamond and you gotta end in them all in a line. Because yeah, you're the only one here who doesn't know. That's it. <laughs> he douses his fingers oh. to be safe. <laughs> They're pure potassium. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Science is awesome. All right, all right, all right. So, what, yeah, I don't... Uh, I'm never good at these. Just give it a try. Just, Just try right, play, right, around right, with, play around with it. All right, all right. Um, oh, no. there. And now you're back at the beginning. I am. That's, yep, that did not work. Yep. So it has to be touching two. Yeah. Every and time you yeah. let go. Every Correct. time you Correct. let go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to have... That's a legal that's, move. That's yep. totally legit, bro. You can do that all day. Give it. I don't know! <laughs> now here's the thing. 
You want to give them enough time to play with it to where they hit a level of frustration where, because let's face it, just buying a beer at a bar, you're looking at what, like, you know, three, five bucks or whatever. Yeah. Once they get to, really what you're doing is you're selling the answer. Yeah. You're, just, you're just like, I'll give you the answer, just buy me a beer. All right, here's the thing. Four <laughs> steps, four steps. One, so you had the first one. Yeah. Two, three, four. Uh, okay. It settles into place. See, one of the things you have to overcome is realizing that you don't have to have all of them touching at the same time. Right. Only when you move one. This right. is the elegance of a good puzzle, where it's yeah. like everything is 100% accurate. The only limitation was that you didn't think outside of the box. Right. You right. built your own cage for that right. one. So this is a case where, with your mind, you built your own barriers. But my favorite puzzle is one that uh, Martin Gardner, the legend uh, who wrote the column on Amazing Scientific American, uh, showed me in person and asked if we had done on Scam School before. And I was like, it's my, it's my favorite, full stop. It's a perceptual dynamic of, let's take, uh, for example, we got these 16 ounce tall beers. Would you bet that the circumference around this guy is longer or the height from here all the way down to the bar? You know, just looking at it, I would think the length of the can. You would? I, I would think. Because knowing you, Brian, right, who's burned him twice. What show this is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who has tried to set me on fire repeatedly. That's a good point. I'm gonna say the circumference. All right. What if I were to? It's gonna be contentious. What if I, I were? What if I were to amplify things? Say, uh, like about that. Same circumference, but now we're talking from here all the way down to clearly, the table. My money is on height. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, but I concur with uh, Mr. Savant. All right, here I've we go. This is this is. Uh, here, hold that still. Make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna. You get, you get, there you go. That's the okay. circumference right yep. there, right? Yep. What? Is that amazing? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> a pint glass is almost a foot around just at the top. How crazy is that? This trick is usually done in privacy and not with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> It's a girthy trick. Oh my god, look, here's the thing. If you guys enjoyed this stuff, there's like 300 more episodes. We got five years of scam school and five years more to come. Thank you guys hey, so much, man. My pleasure. So I do have a bit of a bonus thing for you. Something that right. we're trying out for the first time. Okay. One of the main complaints I get from people is that they've watched scam school a lot, and uh, but they forget things. You know, they're in a social situation. They know they know a bunch of tricks, but they can't keep track of what they paid attention right. to. It's hard to recall <clears throat> when you're under pressure. We came up with something that I think is really, really clever. It's a ring that we're gonna have available at scamstuff.com. Okay. And inscribed on the ring all the way around are 24 hieroglyphs. Each of the hieroglyphs is the answer to one of the Scam School episodes that we've done. So these are crib notes, basically. When you're in a social situation, you can go through, you can remember like, oh, that's the prediction for the Martin Gardner tic-tac-toe thing. Right. That's the one for this that's one. That's handy. That's what I, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> the cleverest thing is, you remember one of the episodes of Scam School we did was where we actually learned how to escape right. from police-issued handcuffs. Okay. We learned a, cu a couple of different uh, methods, but the one that's built into this ring is you'll notice that the inside has been etched out right. and there is built in a shim that's designed to escape from police-issued handcuffs. <laughs> Oh. And it also has a serrated edge, so if you're put in zip, cut, uh, zip ties, you could saw your way out. But basically, here, go ahead, go ahead and officer. Just put, uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with the imagery here, but go ahead, go ahead and lock me in on this. The idea is, is you take off your ring, you run the shim in, and all you have to do is get it one click in. There we go, once it's in, you just gotta get it clicked in once and then the whole thing comes off, <laughs> just like that. That happened a lot faster than I thought it would. I know, it's, it really is that easy. It, it, this is one of the coolest things we've ever put together. I think you're really gonna dig it. Uh, so check that out at Scam Stuff. But thank you guys, man. Thanks again hey, for man. consulting from the beginning and being there hey, for 300 the episodes. I believe in. Right on. Those rings really are available right now at ScamStuff.com in two versions. We have it with the Escape gimmick and without the Escape gimmick if you wanna save a few bucks, and they're available for pre-order at this moment. It is amazing how every social situation transforms itself once you have like 24 ready to go miracles on your crib notes right there in your hands. Don't forget I wanna hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit us up on the comments right below, I read all of that stuff, or hit me up on the social media with twitter.com slash wood or google.com slash plushwood. And of course, if you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at Now next week, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it because we are gonna learn how you can create an award-winning web series that runs for half a freaking decade despite the fact that you have no talent whatsoever. Solid. Good. Are they working out? Yeah. <laughs> I thought surely it's not gonna make one of these matches like. Hey.
Do you have any tricks that don't involve hurting? No. <laughs> it's a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta, I'm gonna uh, die. <laughs>